God, we thank you for the life that you give us. It is full of work and of responsibility, of sorrow and joy. Today, we thank you for Isabel Foster Williams, for what she has given and received. Help us in our mourning and teach us to live for the living in the time that is still left to us. Give her, O Lord, your peace and let your eternal light shine upon her. Amen. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Reverend. Good evening. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. I didn't know Mrs. Williams personally, however. I'm a friend of her son, Luke. Ah, I see. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be present in such a day. It is very important for the family of the deceased, especially when the family is so close like the Williams, and when death knocks sooner than we will live it sure. Did you know Isabel? Yes, quite well. She used to go to the church in my parish every Sunday. Luke never told me she was ill. Was it unexpected? Yes, everything happened pretty quickly. All very unfortunate. One day I caught Luke alone in the church, praying. And like his mother used to do, he seldom goes there. I talked to him and he told me that she was actually very lucky. How come? She was born with the illness that eventually took her over, but was kept dormant for many decades. The doctor said it could have manifested itself at any age. But what struck me the most was that he, at that moment, was not praying for his mother to be well. He was asking God for forgiveness, for he had spent the last seven days praying for his mother's life when she was provided with a miracle and lived healthy for more than 60 years, when so many others barely stand a chance to live. Reverend. God understands that. God understands that selfishness is a consequence of human relationships. It is one of the toughest emotions, being divided between the love that blinds reason and the guilt that darkens the heart. But he'll find peace again. And as for her, she's surely close to God now. May she rest in peace. I can't imagine what it is to feel the way he's feeling. It is up to us that we may and love them to help them grieve and move on. I'll do my best, Reverend. Do you know where I can find him? He was here a few minutes ago. No, I do not. I saw him talking to a man whom I've never seen before. It worried me, I must confess, as he was very distressed. I hope no bad news piles up on such a weakened mind. I haven't seen him since. Thank you so much, Reverend. I'll look for him. Thank you. May God be with you. Sure is dark here. It sure is dark. isn't attracted to such small objects unless they're a couple of feet away. It's a myth! <laughs> Don't you know that, Luke? Uh, anyway, I, uh, I'd better be careful. It 
sure is good. Sure is dark here. My ears are buzzing. God, what a blast! I... I could have died! Luke? What have you done, Luke? Leave me alone, please. I found a shed a, a couple of minutes away. Is it yours? Luke? Yes. Can you please leave me alone? I'm not feeling very well. What happened there? She did the same thing, John. What are you talking about? There was a mistake. I didn't mean to. Luke? I did all I could, John. I, I really did. Where are Rita and Anne, Luke? Luke, where the hell are your wife and daughter? Oh, fuck. I'm going inside. I feel I'm being watched. Oh great, it works. Let there be light in here. There's someone out there. But it's pouring outside. Is it? It is. Rita, how did she... I can't take it anymore, Mum. It doesn't talk to me. I don't know, Mum. I think it's not going well, but... How is that possible, Mum? He shuts himself off. He works until late every day. He doesn't care for me, and worst of it all, he doesn't care for Annie. I think he might be cheating on me, Mum. I, I really do. He's different. Annie asked me the other day why he wasn't talking to her, if she had done something wrong. She was crying. I could barely take it. I told him I was going to move. I told him things couldn't stay like this, that I would file for divorce and take Annie with me. He barely flinched. He said he had no other option. 
I told him that. He's losing it anyway. He's losing more of it like this. I'm sleeping too little. I've lost my appetite. I'm sorry, Mum. I tried to understand him. It must have been real hard on him after he found out that... You're right. Yes, Mum. Sure. I already have them partially packed, can you believe it? You don't need to pick us up. Okay, thank you, Mum. I'm sorry, I... I really am. I'll be ready with Annie in less than half an hour. Rufus? Well, I guess you'll have to stay here for now. You're right. She also got incredibly attached to that doll of her since, you know, I think she'll understand. Great. Thank you, Mom. See you in a second. Love you too. Is, uh, is this your doll? Yes. Her name is Joanne. She belonged to my grandmother, Isabel. Her mother sewed it for her when she was little. She then gave it to my daddy soon after he was born. He told me that he played with the doll until he was four or five. But, you know, he got into school and Grandma didn't let him take her with him. He did not make many friends at first and Grandma had left Joanne in the box. So he decided to make a friend, an imaginary one, and played with him until he was around 12 or 13 years old. Oh, I had no idea. I didn't have a lot of friends either, you know. I was so sad after my first week of school that Daddy told me this story himself. He had remembered Joanne and went looking for her. He had found her in a box lost in the attic, cleaned her up and handed her over to me. She's so pretty, isn't she? She's lovely. Thank you. I really love her. Anne, you're all right. Oh, hello, John. I'm okay, thank you. If you're looking for my dad, I don't think he's home. My mum is upstairs packing our bags. You can wait here for her if you want to. She's packing your bags? Are you going on holiday? I don't know. I think we're going to live with my grandma and grandpa. My mum and I, that is. You're going to move? The two of you? What about your dad? I... I don't know. He's... he's not very well. What happened? He... he's never around. He is always so distant, like we're not even there. Like we don't exist. I think he got so sad when Grandma died, and still is. He barely speaks to Mummy and I. I caught him crying several days, but I never... I think he comes home late and sleeps on the couch. I had no idea. What does your mother say? She just said to me, pack your bags, honey, okay? We are going to see Grandma and Grandpa. And I asked her why, and she, she just repeated it again. She sounded sad, and I think, I think she, was, she had been crying. So I packed my bags and came down here one last time. And I... I like my grandparents. They're so sweet. They always try to please me, like cooking my favourite dishes and so on. And... Everything will be fine, won't it? It always does. Dad will get better. I know he will. And we'll be back here. 
and we'll build lots of different things. I I miss building things with him, John. Playing with him and everything. I'm sure you do, Anna. He'll recover. I'm going to help him. I know you will. Thank you, John. See you soon. See you, Anna. Luke, what happened to you? Talk to me. Rita says you no longer talk to her. She's at breaking point. You can't lose your family, Luke. They love you. Rita and Anne left a few years ago. They packed their bags one night and moved away. I've barely seen them since. Why, Luke? I couldn't face them. I couldn't talk to them. I couldn't look them in the eyes without going to pieces. I couldn't give up. I just couldn't. What happened, Luke? Give up on what? On my project. On me. It had to work. The clean energy one? You jeopardised your family for some environmental dream. Why, Luke? Why? Why were you so invested in this project? It's taken away everything, everyone from you. Why was I so invested? Luke? Don't! Fuck! Oh, here we go again. Hospital. Is he dreaming of his mother's illness again? Good morning. Morning. I think I got lost. <laughs> if you think that, you most certainly are. In this direction, there's only the Yellow Bridge Hospital, sir. Can you tell me where you were heading? Oh, great, then I am in the right place. <laughs> Didn't you see the plaque over there? Was there one? <laughs> I think I got so worried I might have been lost. I, I got distracted. Is the entrance ahead? Which department are you heading to? I, uh, I'm i visiting a friend. I'm not sure. Well, the hospital has two facilities. The second of those is across the road. Best is to take the main entrance and give your friend's name at reception. It's the one just ahead. They should let you know easily. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Have a nice day. Yellowbridge Hospital. That name is somehow familiar. Let's see if Luke is somewhere inside. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Yellow Bridge Hospital. What is your ticket number? I... I haven't taken the ticket. Please do take one, sir. It's right by our counter. We'll call you as soon as we can. Thank you.
Someone must have forgotten to turn that ambulance's lights off. Sir, did you take a ticket? Uh, yes, it's number EO33. We're calling it in a minute, okay? I just want a quick bit of information. It'll just take a minute. Please wait here. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I guess I... I'm fine. Do you need a, a glass of water or anything? Oh, no. No. Thank you. Are you waiting for an appointment? I can stay here if you need me to. Uh, no, I... Um, I'm waiting. Uh, for my wife. She... Um, she's going through surgery. Liver tumor. Oh. I'm sorry. It was cut early, so... I mean, she will probably get better and all, but it's just so damn tough. I can't even imagine. Please, sit down, Mr... John. John Stevens. It's nice to meet you, John. I'm Sean. And how about yourself? I'm actually looking for a friend of mine. I was told that he'd be here. Anything serious? I really don't know. I'm assuming it might be. I'm sorry to hear that, John. You know, Yellowbridge has some well-renowned specialists. For some specialties such as oncology, psychiatry, medical genetics or neurology, there is none better. If it's something related to cardio, well, I'd recommend him seeing Dr. Walker in St. Thomas's Hospital, best cardiologist in the country. Thank you, Sean. You, you sure did your research. Well, when someone you love so dearly is suffering, all your effort should go into searching for the best possible solution. Right? And you don't stop or pay attention to anything else until you're certain that, well, that you've done all you could. Of course. I'm sure she'll be fine, Sean. I... I hope so. How long is the operation? Actually... It should be done by now. It's making me quite nervous. Do you have any update? No. It's nerve-wracking. I'm too afraid to even get close to the surgery door. But in the end, I know there's nothing I can do other than waiting, which is killing me, little by little. Hey, it's gonna be all right. If you want me to, I can go ask for an update. Would you do that? Sure, it's no big deal. Thank you, John. Not at all. Uh, ah, did they... Oh, yes, they, they finally called my number. Uh, let me just ask for my friend and, and I'll see what I can do. Don't worry, John. Really. And I hope everything is fine with him. Thanks. Hello. Hello, sir. Did you take a ticket? Uh, yes, it's number EO33. I believe you've just called it. Thank you. How may we help you? I'm here to visit a, a, a friend of mine. Certainly, sir. Do you know which wing is he or she in? Uh, no, actually. I just found out she was hospitalized, but I've no idea what's the matter with her. Um, okay. Can you give me her name, please? Uh, yes, yes. Isabel Williams. Thank you, sir. Hold a minute, please. Sorry, sir. There is no record of an Isabel Williams hospitalized at our facilities. Are you sure she was sent here? I... Oh, my God. Is there a Luke, Rita or Anne Williams here? Mm, please hold. 
no, neither. They may have been sent to a different hospital. Or have been discharged from the hospital already. I can try to... Hold on. Haha! -ha! There is a Luke Williams here. He's in an appointment with one of our doctors. Really? Now? Yes, from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. Oh, great, thank you so much. There, uh, there might have been some miscommunication then. Which department? I'm sorry, sir, but in this case, I cannot provide that information. I shouldn't even tell you this, but... He's in this building and will most likely exit through this entrance. So you may wait here if you want. Thank you so much. You're welcome, you too. Uh, sorry to bother you. Not at all. Uh, what time will my friend end his appointment? Wait a minute, please. Um, at 5.30 p.m. Please hold here. Thank you. Uh, sorry to... Not at all. Uh, what... Wait a minute. It's... 5.05 p.m. Is the clock working? It doesn't seem to be moving. No, nothing. Any news on the surgery? No, not yet. Try to calm down. I'll come back when I have some. There's an operation underway. Please do not enter. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to know if you have any new information that you might share. No new information, sir. Kindly wait in the waiting room. Can you please go and ask the doctors? It's really hard being left in the dark. Sir, I ask you to. If something happens to the husband of the woman in surgery, I'll hold you accountable. Wait here. I can't believe it. Did it really work? Sir? Yes? The operation is almost finished. One of the surgeons will leave a little earlier to update you. Maybe at around 5.20pm. Oh, thank you so much. I, I'm sorry for the interruption. Have a nice day. Any news on the surgery? No, not yet. Try to calm down. I'll come back when I have some. Hello? Damn, it's locked. Hello? Damn, it's... Someone left a newspaper here. Yellow Bridge Times. Rita, what are you doing here? Uh, John, uh, oh, no, um, nothing. I'm doing nothing. Where's Luke? Luke? I don't know. He's not home. If you want to talk to him, come back later. Rito, what are you talking about? Nothing. I'm, I'm doing lunch. Luke should be home in a couple of hours with Annie. Please make yourself comfortable if you want to wait. I'll be back in a second. R Rita? Oh no! Don't go! Rita! Oh, what the hell? Oh, my head! What was that? Fuck, there was something written on the lake.
Hello? Damn, it's... It's working. Well, the button lit up. Something made a sound, but, but the elevator didn't move. What happened? Any news on the surgery? Try to... Oh, it's 5.10 now. Was it uh, the elevator button? Okay. Is it 5.15pm now? If there's something I need to do at this time, I shouldn't press any more. Five fifteen, indeed. I think I understand how this works now. Hello? Damn, it's locked. Hello? Damn, it's locked. Hmm. Do I want to press it again? Let's do it. Hello? It's already past 5.20. Hello, sir. Oh, uh, hi. I am so sorry for the delay. As far as we can tell, your wife is going to be fine. We have removed the tumor entirely, and we found no traces of possible metastases. Oh, that's great, but uh, I'm not, uh... And this is owed to you as well. We found some complications that most hospitals don't have the equipment or personnel to endure. I know it must have been hard for you to delay the surgery and search for the best possible healthcare institution. Well, you've done the right thing. I... You can see her in about a quarter hour. I recommend you to go home after that and rest, as she will only wake up in a couple of hours. She's in no immediate danger. Doctor? We'll talk later when she wakes up, okay? Wait here and someone will call you. Thank you, but I'm not the... Uh, uh, oh, oh man, she's a... Uh, uh, that's so wonderful. Sean, your wife, she's going to be fine. Sean? Uh, sorry to bother you. Not at all. What time will my friend end his appointment? Wait a minute, please. Thank you. Let's do it. Hmm. Do I want to press it again? Let's do it. Oh. The elevator is coming. It might be... Daddy, talk to me. Daddy! Oh. Sorry, darling. You seem upset. No. No. Don't worry. Luke! John, is that you? What... What are you doing here? Is everything all right? Yes, <laughs> with me it is. How about you? What's wrong? I heard you were in the hospital, so I just ran here. Who told you that? Well, it was just an appointment me and Anne had. Routine stuff. Luke. You're not telling me everything, are you? You're right. I... I don't know if you know, but, um... My mother died a couple of days ago. I think I didn't cope well with her loss, and I was feeling a little strange. That's all. Nothing to worry about. I miss her too, Daddy. 
I know, Annie. I know. Luke, I may not know exactly what you've been through, but I've got to know you to the point that I'm sure you're not well. You don't need to keep this to yourself. Just talk to me. John, it's... It's very kind of you, but everything is all right. It really is. Luke! I have to take this little devil home. She must be starving, aren't you, Annie? Yes, a little. But don't mind me. What's for lunch? <laughs> I have no idea. Something great, surely. Y you want to go and see those butterflies again in the garden? Sure. I'll be back up in a minute, okay? Thanks, Eddie. John. Dr. Medicine is a great doctor. I'll be all right. Oh, Luca. I'm so sorry. How serious is it? Dr. Medicine is a great doctor. Luke? We really have to go now, John. Thanks again for the concern. And don't worry. Everything will be okay. I promise. Have a good day. Luke! Oh no. Is he... dying? I need to go to the second floor and talk to this Dr. Medicine. Should we go to Dr. Medicine's? Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. Wait. The, the clock is ticking and I... I'm feeling sick. What's happening? No. No. I want to go to Dr. Medicine. Sorry to bother you again. Hello there, sir. How can I get to Dr. Medicine's office? Dr. Madsen is on holiday and comes back only next week, sir. If you're here because of Dr. Madsen's investigation, I can call Mr. Luke Williams. If not, and it's an urgent matter, I can schedule an appointment with another doctor. I, I'm sorry, did you say Luke Williams? Yes, he's in charge of Dr. Madsen's investigation while he's away. I... How long has Luke Williams been working with Dr. Madsen in his investigation? For over three years now. He is funding the investigation and has been working with Dr. Madsen since its beginning. He surely can help you with whatever you need. He's funding the investigation? How did he... Luke Williams? It's a snowy owl. Oh, she's so still. I almost missed her. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> she's not interested in me. Michael? Look! Uh oh. Hi. How do you know my name? Having met before. Uh, yes, we have. D don't you recall? I'm a friend of Luke Williams. John Stevens. I'm terribly sorry, John. I'm, I'm just not able to place your face. What are you doing here in the middle of nowhere? Ah, you're here with Luke? Actually, I just wanted to talk to you, Michael. How the hell did you know I would be here? I... asked Luke. You asked Luke? Where is he, by the way? Do you happen to know? Are you waiting for him? Damn right I'm waiting for him. He was supposed to be here half an hour ago. So damn hot. Hot? What are you... Why are you waiting for Luke? So... Luke tells you to come to this place, talk to me. 
but he doesn't tell you he's coming too? We're going to make sure that our first plan is ready for the big opening. I need Luke. The opening is in two days and it's a really big deal. We might get a huge investment. We're about to prove that it all works. So the weather better remain as hot as today. You, the company... Anyway, sorry. I'm just sick of waiting for Luke. Was it something you wanted to ask me? Yes, yes. I... Uh... Out with it, man! I'm... I'm worried about him, actually. I know something is quite wrong, but, but I'm not quite sure what. Do you know anything? About Luke? Well, he's been under a lot of stress, you know. This is a huge moment. And I don't know if you've heard, but his mother has just passed away. Just a couple of weeks ago. I know. Is that all? Is that all? Yes. All that I know of. Thank you, Michael. No problem. Listen, if you know something, you're going to tell me, right? I think I'll head up to the plant or I'll dehydrate. And if you happen to catch Luke, send him up. Thanks. Sure. Winter is definitely not my favorite season. Oh, I'm feeling sick already. Oh, Luke. I get it, Luke. Talk to me. What are you doing out here, Mum? It's freezing. I'm waiting for the songs to download, son. <laughs> Did you manage to connect yourself to the internet out here? A very weak connection. You can come inside while you're waiting, Mum, or just download them when we get back to the city. Well, if Annie took all this trouble to make these songs... But it's freezing. She knows that. You know I like the cold. <coughs> Still that damn cough. I thought it was gone already. Oh, it's nothing, son. Don't worry. I think something just got in my throat. <coughs> Don't worry. Mum, that cough's been haunting you for almost a year now. I haven't been coughing for a couple of weeks. Did you see me coughing during dinner? I'm telling you, I just got something in my throat. <coughs> That's all. Do you still have the pills? Yes, I do. But those doctors... I don't think they knew why I was coughing to begin with. Well, you said it yourself. You haven't been coughing for the last few weeks. I stopped taking the pills more than a month ago. Mum! So, maybe you shouldn't have? Promise me you'll take them. They make me feel tired, Look, Mum! Okay, son. I'll take them for a while longer. <coughs> Thanks. Anyway, where is our little devil? <laughs> well, I think we have two little devils in the family now. <laughs> That's true. What an idea you and Rita had. Well, I remembered that when we passed through a pet store and I stopped to stare at the puppies, you always talked about the one you had when you were a child and how you'd love having one again. <laughs> and yeah, Dad always got a bit sad about it, didn't he? I was a little mean to him sometimes, wasn't I? <coughs> what patience he had. 
I knew that in that small apartment it'd be chaotic, and your dad was never much of a dog lover. I know, but since Rita and I are, and our house is quite spacious, why not? Yes, Anne will fall in love with him immediately. He seems so lively, so full of zest. <laughs> a little bit too active, <laughs> you know? She's already named him. Rufus, I believe. Rufus? What a name. <coughs> I like it. And where are they? Rita and Anne are taking him for a walk in the woods. And wasn't it freezing, son? I told them the same thing as I told you, Mum. Speaking of that, shall we go inside now? Just leave your phone here on the bench. No one will steal it. When Annie returns with Rita and the dog, you'll probably have the songs in there already. And we can all listen to them together. Okay, you win, son. <coughs> Let's get you a nice hot cup of tea. Do you have whiskey to put in it? Mum. Look at you, John. Going through other people's phones. Ah. There are two songs here that have just been downloaded. Can I listen to them? with what we just recorded? It has to be perfect, Mum. Why so? Because it's for Grandma. Oh, sweetheart. What you're doing is already beyond perfect. She's going to be delighted with this. You're going to make her cry, you know that? If they're happy to, then I hope so. You're so sweet. Let's do it again. Just one more, all right, Annie? What if you mess up? Well, you have a lot of great recordings already. And I'm not on holidays, you know. You're always on holidays, Mum. Sweetheart. The fact that I'm home most of the times doesn't mean I'm not working. I know, Mummy. When will you let me read your books? <laughs> when... When you're old enough, Anne. But I know what a lighthouse is. And it can't be anything too complicated for me. Well, the book is not exactly about a lighthouse, sweetheart. So why did you name it The Lighthouse? Because... You know what? Let's just perfect the recording for your grandmother, all right? Great, Mummy! Do you think we're troubling Daddy? Ah, with his work you already seem worried. No, it's just... He has probably stopped working and he's just listening to us play from the office. Don't worry about him. Well, are you ready? Ready! Hello there, Mr. Snowman. Don't you know who I am? Oh, of course. You were built just a few hours ago. <laughs> Cute looking snowman.
interesting, isn't it? All of them have the same font style. Well, the plant's ahead. Let's move on. Wow! Is that... Is that the power plant? Where's all that light coming from? Oh, there's someone there. No. 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 Out of the question. Michael. Are you out of your mind? This is what we've been fighting for for so long. And you don't give me one damn reason. Michael, I want you to trust me. Fuck trust! This, this is the exact opposite of trust. I trusted you, man, for all these years. Listen to me carefully. I am not going to sign this. Do you hear me? No. I need the money, Michael. Money? We're going to be rolling in it, Luke. Loads of it. Michael. Oh, for Pete's sake, Luke. What is happening? Please, tell me what's going on. You can't really expect me to sign off on a document selling the damn company, not without giving me one good reason. And now, of all the possible days, when we have interested parties, they want to invest in us, not buy us off. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck you, Luke. I am sorry as well. But I will not sign it. Go ahead, try and sell your shares on your own. Now, let's get back to work, shall we? Fuck! What the hell? Michael! What happened? I might be... Michael! Where the fuck is he? There's something wrong with the plant. I need help. Luke! Luke! I'm here! Who's... John? What are you... It doesn't matter. Please, I need to go inside the main building. The one close to the tower. The main fuse must be shut down or the plant might be severely damaged. There's a couple of control boxes ahead. Can you please deal with them and try to fix whatever is causing this? I... Thanks, John. Luke, don't! Fuck! Okay, John. You can do it. You can do it. I need to turn this noise off first. What's your emergency? The power plant. The alarm's gone off. Can you please tell us the location or name of the power plant? I... I don't know. What happened? Can you see any smoke? Fire? Was there any explosion? No. No, I, I've no idea. Everything was calm and, and then, out of the blue, the alarm kicked off. Are you alone? No, there are, there are two other people here. Please remain calm. Do not panic. We are trying to trace back the location of your call. It says you are in the desert. Desert? It's fucking freezing in here! Sir, there isn't a power plant in a hundred kilometer radius. What? There must be a mistake. I... Oh, oh never mind. I sometimes forget I'm in someone else's mind. The 
There's no time for wandering around, John. Focus! you found the number. I just found the problem. There must be something wrong with the heating and a chunk of water froze in the pipes. I just inserted the error in the system so you might see it in the other control panel. I'll try to clear your access but you need to come up with an idea to unfreeze it. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. I really don't. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Call me when it's done. No! Luke! No! No! Oh, man! The power plant. Can you please tell? I. What happened? No. Everything was calm and. Are you alive? No. The. Please run. We are trying to. Tr it says. Desert. S Why? I saw. Job, John. I owe you, big time. 
I'll be there in a second. Thanks. What the hell? You! What are you doing here? Sabotage! I'll call the police. Michael? The alarm went off. I, I was trying to... I can hear the alarm went off. Get out of here! Where the hell is Luke? We need to fix this. What have you done? I did it, Michael. Luke? What are you talking about? Michael, I need the money. Jesus Christ, Luke! Are you out of your mind? The plant is going to explode! I... I'm sorry, Michael. We have been... You have been dreaming of this since you were little. Changing the world, making it a better place for every human soul. And we are... You... Are there. This is it. Finally. You're one of the lucky few and you're willing to... Throw it all away? What for? What... This is your dream. What happened, Luke? Luke, you're scaring me. I... I haven't told Rita yet, so... I'm, I'm sorry. Please, trust me. I'll be okay. I promise. Luke. Okay. I'll sign the papers first thing in the morning. Just fix the plant. The papers only mean something if everything goes well in two days' time. Thanks, Michael. Luke, whatever it is, you are not alone. You can talk to me. You can talk to Rita. You have people, Luke. You have us. Just don't close yourself down. It's complicated, Michael. But yes, I know. Thanks. Look, it's going to be fine. All of our trials had positive outcomes, you know that. I know that, Terence. Because of you, because of your money, of our investigation, we found a cure for a disease that most people, I included, never thought could be found. Tomorrow marks exactly six years since your first appointment. Do you remember that? It's rather poetic. I'd rather prefer never to think of that day again. I understand. So much has happened since. You have gone through hell, haven't you? But the disease was inevitable. What wasn't, was your will to fight against it. And that, that started six years ago. I still don't understand how you managed to convince me. I had money. Yes, that helped. But still, I never thought we could do it. But I'm glad you did convince me. All my colleagues were saying, Dr. Madsen, all around the world the doctors have studied that disease. It's impossible to be cured. And it is so rare, you should focus your attention elsewhere. I'm glad I didn't listen. I understand people who say that a thousand lives are more important than one. But that one deserves to live as much as all the others. I owe you so much, Terence. I'm so nervous. I haven't slept in days. All the preliminary data points towards success. What if they're wrong, Terence? Look, we should go somewhere for a couple of days. What? I know it sounds lunatic, but you're not needed here anymore. Now we're just wandering around, waiting for a phone call. You should go somewhere. You, you always talk about that woodland nearby. I sold the hut when my wife left me. I haven't asked you in a while. How is she? I don't know. 
I can't face her, Terrence. I understand. Still, you should go to the woodlands, or wherever you prefer. I'll meet you tomorrow morning, we'll wait for the phone call together. I couldn't. You should, for your own good. And after the phone call, we come back and we can start the treatment. The treatment? You did it, Luke. I... I've been here before, haven't I? It's different. Quite different, but... Yes, it's the exact same place. Grandma, why did you stop? My legs are not what they used to be, sweetheart. And neither are my lungs. I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't have come. Don't say that, Grandma. Why? Because I'm slowing you all down. That's preposterous. Hey there, little devil. Since when do you know such fancy words? My daddy teaches me one every day. Word of the day, that's what we call it. Well, that's what your dad plays with you, is it? Goodness gracious. But besides, look, even Rufus stops. He also doesn't want to leave you behind. He's not even looking at me. He just stopped because you stopped. No, no. He's just observing. Word of the day? A few weeks ago. Right. And what is he observing? Potential dangers. Potential dangers? Uh-huh. You don't say. What kind of dangers? Oh, you know, wolves and that kind of stuff. Wolves and that kind of stuff. And can Rufus take them down? He's so small. Don't say that out loud, Grandma. He may be small, but he is ferocious and very strong. Oh, I see. Of course. So sorry, Mr. Rufus. But let me tell you a little secret, okay? There are no dangerous creatures. Not in these woods. No wolves, no bears, no foxes. Not even foxes? Not even foxes. Ah, there you are, Annie. What happened, Mum? I'm sorry. I fell behind and I felt a little tired. You two were so engaged in a conversation that I didn't want to interrupt. And when I found this little bench, you were too far away for me to shout. So, convenient little bench, isn't it? What's the matter? Is everything all right? Oh, you know, I'm just getting old. Oh, Isabel, don't say that. But it might be true, Mummy. Neither you or me are tired, are you? Anne? <laughs> She's right, Lita. But it's kind of you. Let's carry on. Are you feeling well to walk? Is it very far away? I can't recall exactly where it is. No, we're almost there. Are we, Daddy? I think I can even hear the waterfall. Yes, we're almost there. Ten to fifteen minutes, at a low pace. We were there already, Rita and I. We left our food basket there. Do you need help getting up, Isabel? No, no, dear. Thank you. I'm not that old. <laughs> That's the spirit. Shall we, then? Let's go. Rufus, I race you there. Anne! Be careful, okay? There's no dangerous creatures not in these woods. Right, Grandma? You know it, little devil. They... Hmm. They must be heading to the lake, close to the waterfall. Hey! What? 
hell's happening? It's not supposed to be working. Off. Off. It's not working. I better go and get some help. We chose this place because of that rock for your grandmother, so she could sit. Are you calling me fat, Rita? Mum, that's so rude! I... of course not. <laughs> it's okay. I'm quite comfortable. How about you, sweetheart? I'm perfect. Well, if you both say so. Hey, you ladies. What's all this chitter-chatter about? Let's eat. Come on. Son, relax a little. The food is not going anywhere. The way Rufus is looking at it, I don't know. He's starving, as well as me. So we might not wait for you and share this basket together. We're coming, we're coming. Daddy? Yes, Annie? Why do waterfalls exist? I... Why do waterfalls exist? Well, you see. You talked about the cycle of water, right? Water falls as rain and in some places, generally high places, away from the sea, the floor is, well, crooked and the rain slides down. If there is a lot of water, we call it a river. But this river didn't choose where or how it was born. Sometimes it changes the earth around it through time until reaching the sea. Other times it finds a huge cliff in front of it and can't go anywhere else other than to fall and hope for the best. That's so sad. Sad? Nonsense. It bounces back from the fall and manages to keep moving forward until it reaches the sea, where it'll rest until going through the whole ride again. It's just like a water slide. And you love those, don't you? Although you're always terrified prior to them. I suppose. Now let's dig in. I agree. You had a wonderful idea, love. Well, it has been a long while since we've done one of these. Yeah, I really like this place. Why didn't we come earlier? Annie, you see... Because I left, sweetheart. Isabel. Mum, don't. Why did you leave? Everyone does, eventually. Where did you go? Close to where the rivers fall. Wow, is, is that where Rufus went? Yes, and he's loving it. Mother. These picnics embody the best thing life has to offer, you know? Beauty, nature, family, and food. I miss them, son. I miss you. Why did you have to leave us so early, Mum? Mum, don't leave again. No, no. Luke, she's gone. Rita, why did you leave me too? It wasn't me who has left. It was you who pushed us away. Where are you? Across the waterfall. Waiting for you. Goodbye, Luke. Goodbye, Daddy. Rita! Anne! Don't go! Please! Rita! Mum! What have I done? Please! I... No! Not now! Be quiet! No! Luke? Where are you, Luke? John! What are you doing here? No! No! Please! Go away! It's okay! I'm here for you! You're not! You're not! No one is here for me! I had to do this alone! 
I'm sorry, Luke. You need to take the call. You can't avoid it. I want to help you. No! Don't you dare take it. Do you hear? I don't want to listen to it. I can't listen to it and go through all that pain again. The pain's killing me. Stay away! Terence here. Sorry I couldn't come to you. I just got the call from the medical genetics facility. The test failed. The disease has relapsed in every single subject. It seems far more complex than we thought after the autopsy and exam to your mother's body. And we're out of money. I... I don't know how we can possibly proceed. Please come by tomorrow to talk. I'm so sorry, Luke. But Your mother? Medical genetics? L Luke, uh, how long do you... It's not me. The universe allowed me to live, but still made me a murderer. There's no hope any longer. You're not... What? Oh, no. Luke, is... is she ill? Anne? Goodbye, John. See you in the afterlife. Luke!
What are you doing there, Anne? That's dangerous. Try and swing yourself close to me. I'll catch you. Oh, hi, John. How are you? Anne, what... Uh, what happened? What, what are you... Uh, be careful! I, I'm going to get you. Don't worry. Everything's fine. I'm waiting for my dad. Your dad? Luke? Where is he? I don't know. He's probably finishing to pack our bags. Pack your bags? Yeah, we're going on a trip. We just received our tickets. Where? Where are you going? To see my grandma. Your... your grandmother? And she... Yes, this man handed over our tickets. One to me and another to my dad. He said we're going to see Grandma Isabel, so I went home quickly to pick up Joanne. You know, the doll that used to belong to her. And then I was told to wait here, so here I am, waiting. Anne? Isn't it wonderful, John? Do you want to come with us? I... Yes, yes, it, it is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I, I wish I could go with you, Anne, but uh, I don't think I can. Where's the ticket to? I haven't even checked. Can you believe it? Let me see. Oh, it's all blurry. I can't read it. Anne, please, don't move too much, okay? I'll, I'll be right back. Keep still. We need to f Everyone in position! Attention, everyone! Who are they? Are they after me? I mustn't be heard or seen. Stop! You've been found! John! Fuck! What, what the... It's me, Luke. Oh, Luke, I've been looking for you. Why are you hiding? Uh, Anne, she's... Have you seen Anne? Where is she? Uh, she's... She's right ahead, but, but there are... Ghosts and... Uh... They're, they're here already. Shit. I... I know. They're looking for me. For you? What happened? They asked us if we wanted to see my mother again. But we said yes. Then the spectres started revolving around us. They kept whirling about for quite some time. Eventually they stopped. Along came a man with two pieces of paper. Anne got hers, I got mine, and we were escorted through the first boarding zone. 
I handed Anne's paper and the guard let her through. I handed mine, but he stopped me. He said my ticket was not valid. Somehow I managed to sneak in. I can't let her go. What, what if they catch me? I just passed them, Luke. It's not easy, but, but they can be tricked. You can get to Anne. Really? Do you think I could trick them? Yes. Thanks, John. Do you need help? Luke! No! Fuck! Fuck! I, I, I must go after him! There she is. Who's that? Anne Williams. Yes? All is ready, my dear. Great! I'm so excited! Where is Dad? Your father will go on later, my dear. Your journey has already begun. It's still a long one, so we must depart immediately. Will he be there shortly? I don't think you'll even notice time passing by. Great! Does my grandma know I'm coming? She knows. Let's get going then! Wait! Who is this? It's me, Anne. My sweet Annie. Dad, you came after all. Luke Williams, how did you get here? It is not yet your... No, it is. There was a mistake. Look. A mistake? Yes, it's me and not her who is supposed to go now. Look at the papers. Look at them. Daddy? What's wrong? It, it is not yet your time to see Grandma, Annie. But I want to, Dad. I miss her so much. And she misses you too, Annie. But you're not supposed to see her yet. Not yet. Luke Williams? Yes. You are correct. There must have been an error somehow. We truly are very sorry. Anne, my dear, I can't keep you waiting here any longer. Your trip has been postponed. But I want to go. Daddy! You'll be fine, Anne. I love you. Don't you ever forget that. She has already returned, Luke. As for you, your path awaits you. It is time to take the next step. Yes. It is time to take the next step. 